Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I'm going to be checking out the Sim2 Moment selfie drone. At least that is what I think it is called. It seems to be listed as various different things and even on the box it's got lots of different names. So we've got the Sim2 logo here and then it says here 007 Pro Pocket Selfie Drone and it's also got that written on the side of the quadcopter as well and then it says Hoshi or Hoshi up here so I don't think this one quite knows what it's called. Either way, it is another selfie drone. By the way, pocket selfie drone. I don't think so unless they are saying that this is the pocket because it's quite big but everything fits in this nice little case here which it comes with. So we can take a look at it here. So we have got a bag with a little tiny Allen key in it. We've got a micro USB-C lead in there, that's interesting. And then it looks like we have got a power supply here and also the lead for the power supply as well. So this is going to be for charging the battery and uh, it looks like this plugs into here like that. And then we've got USB-C here as well. So I think you can charge the battery off a USB connector as well or like a car charger and I believe using this the battery should charge in an hour and using this it's going to be three hours and then we have the battery here it's a hefty battery but like I say not really a pocket drone is it this one <laughs> so yeah the battery is 2900 milliamp it's a 2s and it's proprietary we have a little button on the top there and that also acts as the button to turn the battery and quadcopter on as well so I believe we plug this in here like that and then that goes into your wall socket and then this light will flash here and then it will go solid when it's finished charging here so apparently this one we're gonna get a 15 minute flight time with it now this is the quadcopter itself so no transmitter with this one you're going to be using your mobile device Android or iOS and then it folds out like this so like I say hmm, not sure about it going in the pocket there these are four inch propellers we have got a 4k camera at the front here and it's on a little servo now it also mentions that it does EIS which is electronic image stabilization but I haven't managed to get that to work whatsoever it does 1080p 60 no 2k but then it does 4k at 25 frames per second as well I think it's a 12 megapixel pixel camera we have got optical flow underneath here and also sonar as well so should be fine for flying indoors and then we've just got some instructions here as well it tells me some specifications of the model as well so it says here that it weighs 400 grams and the diagonal distance is 200 millimeters, the max speed 3 meters per second, takeoff speed 1 meter per second, landing speed 0.6 meters per second, very specific that is. Hover accuracy, it's same plus or minus 0.5 on the vertical and plus or minus 1 meter on the horizontal. Follow me accuracy, so yeah it has follow me 1 to 2 meters. 4 inch blades, as I say it's 1806 brushless motors, 10 amp ESCs there and it's also listing the GPS systems as well, gyro, barometer of course for altitude hold. Flight time, 15 minutes, control distance, 100 meters, hmm, I'm not so sure about that. And then, frequency 2.4, max range 100 meters, I'm going to say don't take it out any further than 30 meters and no higher than probably 15 meters I would say with a, it's a selfie drone so it's not going to get you in shot if you go away further than that and the field of view 90 degrees and yeah one axis camera there it's on a little servo and it sort of goes in stages there you control it by the app just one slight issue when it's pointed all the way down so it does point all the way down to 90 degrees hits the ground if you land on it like that and makes a horrible whining noise so that's not going to be doing that any good now the app it's difficult to find again because the app they're calling it the air selfie app but if you search that 
on the Play Store, it just comes up with the Air Selfie model. It's a different model, and they say scan the QR code on the back. That just takes you to a Chinese website. So I found that if you type in Moment Drone, that will then get the app up. And as soon as this model will fly for 15 minutes, I won't bother going through all of the app and its features and stuff. I'll just go and take it for a fly and I can go through the features that way on a screen recorder. Okay, so I've turned the quadcopter on. It's a long press of this button here. By the way, you have to provide your own micro SD card. I'm using a class 10. 64 gigabyte, I think it just slots in at the front there it goes in quite tight So you have to be careful with that. I have connected the phone to the Wi-Fi hotspot that it creates the password is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and then here we have the app so I'm going to press connect and Hopefully I should get a image. There we go so it's saying I've got 16 GPS satellites there and we have various information on here. We have the quadcopter's battery level and it's currently got two lines across it. So I imagine when we take off that might populate. Then we have got the height in meters and the distance in meters, the Wi-Fi signal. And then we've got different picture modes here. So burst modes, timer modes, I'm not gonna use any of those. We've also got this tap to fly button here and if I press it then controls come on the screen but I can't get this tap to fly thing to work so I'm just going to be using the controls. Then we've got a takeoff button here so I'm going to press that in a second and then I'm in picture mode at the moment now. I find the icons not very intuitive so if I want to change to video mode it's the little play button at the top there and then if I press the shutter button there and then it's going to start recording. We've got the return home button down here as well and the takeoff button becomes a land button and then to the side here we have got follow me and then various settings as well so if we go into the settings you can change the rocker setting from mode one and mode two. Sensitive setting I've got it set to advanced because it's windy here today and they say don't fly it when it's Windy, is that gonna let me go back? And then we've got the calibration, they're calling it disc calibration. I definitely think there's some things lost in translation here. That's the compass calibration and the accelerometer calibration. It's the usual horizontal and vertical dance. And then in the camera settings here, I've got video size set to 1920 by 1080 and it's actually saying 50 FPS there. And I don't want that, I want 60 FPS. So let's see if I can come out of that. Is it gonna let me? I have to click that button again, I think. Yeah, the app's a little bit clunky. There we go, the back button does that. So let's stop that a second and now let's go into the settings here, camera settings, and I want 60 FPS there. We've got white balance settings here as well. I'm gonna just leave everything on auto. I think so let's go back now is it the back button yet and then back again anyways that's enough of that let's start the recording and now let's go for a takeoff so the props are going and it should lift itself up uh, it's spitting a rain here of course it is it's always raining so I might have to be quick with the features here so let's first of all take a look at the hover. I'm just going to bring it down in height. I think it's supposed to go up to 1.5 meters. I would say that was accurate. So let's take a look at the hover. So we're on grass here. They say if you want to fly it indoors, fly it over texture. It is moving around a little bit, but it's not too bad. Okay, let's move it forward. Now, unlike other selfie drones, it doesn't reverse the controls, so you have to do that yourself. So when you point the camera at you, then everything is reversed. So it does seem to be a genuine 1080 60 FPS. I think it's a little bit soft and it's going at 28 megabit. But 
I think it's all right. I think the colors are quite nice. So if we just look on the phone here, the video is stuttering a bit, but I did fly it without the screen recorder going and it was a little bit better. So up here, I can change the gimbal angle here, but it just does it in stages, you can see. It's getting blown around by the wind quite a bit there. So another bit of a problem I found is, look, I've stayed in that gimbal mode. Now I can't touch anything unless I come out of the gimbal mode. And there you go, you get your controls back. So yeah, that's a little bit tricky. Also the controls, they're like buttons. So if you touch it, then it sort of just jerks for a little bit. It, it's not smooth. And also you have to exactly press the buttons as well, otherwise nothing will happen. So you have to be looking at the screen really to make sure that you're pressing the right part of the screen. It'd be nice if you could sort of touch anywhere on the screen and it would just do it. But yeah, that's not the case. Anyways, let's try the follow me function. So that's down here at the corner. Begin to enter. I don't know if that's going to stop the video. It looks like it has. So we've got this burst detection, bust detection, sorry. I couldn't get that to do anything, but if we go into hand gesture, and then if I move backwards, I believe now it might be electronically stabilized. It looks smoother. So let's start the video off now, and then I think I can draw a box around me. And now that should follow me. And that's the only follow me that I can seem to get to work. But it's not very good, can you see there? It's sort of flying away and it's, it, it's lost me and the app's crashed. If we open the app again, hopefully I'm going to be able to reconnect to it. That's one good thing I found about this. If the app crashes, you can reconnect to it pretty good. Oh, the rain's coming down. It says it's still recording there. So let's stop the recording and let's bring the control back if I can. The follow me doesn't work very well. It loses you. If I can tilt the gimbal down a little bit so the rain doesn't get it, because it's definitely raining on me now. Oh, I cannot catch a break. Come round, please. <laughs> okay, let's try the return home, as it is really coming down now. So, where's return home option? There we go. Yeah, I want to return home because it's raining. Thanks, weather. I literally just sit all day and wait for it to start raining and usually get a five minute gap and then it rains again and that's what's happening now. So, there we go. So, it looks like it's coming down battery only 68% so I can believe it's got a good flight time let's see where it lands so it took off from the H and it's landed in the grass let's stop the video is it gonna let me stop the video or not because it's crashed ah oh, this app needs work for sure doesn't seem to be letting me stop the video. So, pretty much a disaster. It's raining. The app crashed. And follow me doesn't work that great. But I think, in general, it's getting there. They just need to release these things when they're ready. Because it doesn't seem quite ready to me. Anyways, I'll put a link in the description if you wish to get one. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please continue to subscribe. Cheers.